All right, so let's go to our next segment here. And we have buying or selling. So this would be a quick uh, little uh, segment here that we're going to pop up a few players and we're going to give our opinion. Are you going to buy this player? Or are you going to try and sell this player? And the first one, as you can see, is Jordan Love. Batch, what are you thinking here? Are you going to buy or sell Jordan Love? Uh, it's a tough one, but I think I'd probably sell. Three TDs. First player this season to have three TDs. Uh, yeah, but he was against an awful side. You know, he... Um... Whoa, whoa, wait. The Bears were... A wild card team this season. I genuinely think the Bears are. Um, well, you got just you got Fields. Um, yeah, there's there's a lot that can be said about the Bears. Um, but and the Packers well, have been owning the Bears for years, so he would have stepped up his game. But I think I'd sell Jordan Love. Oh no, you're 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 breaking Craig's heart right now. Pez, what are you thinking? Is Batch crazy or is he talking sense? Um no, I'm I'm gonna say I'm buying it. I don't agree with him personally. Um Yeah, I, I just traded uh Watson. Deshaun Watson. Oh right, you leave Deshaun Watson. No. <laughs> Leave, leave Watson alone. Yeah, I'm a big leave, fan of Watson. Um, I'm a Browns fan, so obviously Watson's my guy. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, to, times like this makes me happy I'm not a Browns fan. And, 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 and nope. Why? It's okay. <laughs> the BL looks decent. But, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I was a Watson fan a few years ago. Yeah, to be uh, fair, Watson... These days, I'm not until he got a little bit handsy. Is that what we're trying to say, Kelly? Until he got a little <laughs> bit handsy. Yeah. <laughs> um, the wrong person in the massage parlor <laughs> got me, shall we say. <laughs> wow. But yeah. for me, I'm buying every day on Jordan Love right now. I would be buying, 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 if, especially if the price is right. Uh, yeah, I'll get it. I'll get it. I, I, I think I think the Packers have the QB situation that the whole league should model. You, you buy them when they're first round. You sit them and you let them learn. And then you put them out when they've matured in the NFL. And I think this will be QB number three in a row that will be an all Yeah, I think um, my well, I, I agree with you. And I think this week it's going to be hard because all them kind of people who are a bit on the fence with him, they're not going to learn much else because they're playing the Falcons this week. And like from a betting point, point of view, like over in the UK from a betting point of view, um, the money you can get for the Packers at the moment is ridiculous. Like... Last week, you could have got a ridiculous price on them to win the game. This week, you can get a ridiculous price to win, to win on the game. Like, I, I don't understand this over-expectation and hype for the Falcons at the moment. I don't see it. So, if you're on the fence with Jordan Love, yeah. I wouldn't probably look too much into this game because he's probably going to have another three touchdowns and look really solid against a team. I don't think that's good. So, I think it's two weeks of wait and see. We need him to... Uh come up against a proper opponent yet, but from what I've seen, he looks really solid. Yeah. Yeah. It's, the Falcons are my surprise team. Go ahead, Batch. It's very difficult to be, to judge Jordan Love at the moment because I'm, personally, I think Bears are not the, the greatest team and I think you're right on the Falcons. The Falcons, again, are not an amazing team. So it's a two-week wait and see. I'll give you that. Uh, it's it's a difficult one though, um, and with regards to yeah, I have not been with regards to the Sorry, betting I, situation, I no, no, it's no problem. With regards to betting, I, I don't look into betting unfortunately, so I wouldn't be able to tell you. But that their first two fixtures, I would say, would have been easy fixtures, really. 
Yeah. I think Falcons. I agree. Uh, the Falcons are my surprise playoff team, division winner. You know, somebody has to win that division. Uh, so I think they're going to put up a bit of a challenge. But, you know, I wish I could. I'm with Arthur, by the way. I can't follow the gambling side of uh, sports. My wife doesn't allow me to have money to do that. So <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you Arthur. <laughs> so let's see. Who are we buying or selling next, Johnny? Toot Toot Atwell. All right. I really excited to hear. Pez, you got your hands up. What Can you I got? start with this one? Because I need people to chill out. I need yeah. just anyone who's listening right now, please chill. Like, chill out with the Tutu Atwell and the Puka Nakua because on our list, I can see he's coming up next. Oh, look, don't be missing it. Like right? Yes. But fine, if Tutu Atwell, what you, anyone who doesn't isn't a Seahawks fan, last year, he burnt us because I am a Seahawks fan. It was a really fun first week for me. Don't get overexcited about him because we have a really good knack of making shite wide receivers look really really good so all these people who use fab in their leagues and stuff i apologize because what the niners are going to do to this team this week you're going to realize quickly oof i probably shouldn't have spent that much money on these wide receivers that's all i've got to say sell i wouldn't waste your money yeah he's second round pick batch Second round pick in 2021. They've been grooming him to replace Cooper Cup. What are you thinking? Is it a buy or a sell for you? A sell. Uh, I, I do agree with Pez that um, the Niners are going to absolutely destroy him and make sure that he was just mm, looked good against the Seahawks, but that's about it. Niners are one of the Again, best the two- teams. The two of you, again, are tearing up two of my playoff predictions. I think the Rams are going to have uh, – a, a, they're, they're going to stand up, and they're going to they're gonna show themselves. I'm not predicting the Rams to win, but I think it will be a good game. I, I'm on the fence with 2-2. At this time, I would sell. I am with Pez and Arthur on this. Who do we have next, Johnny? Puka Nakua, out of nowhere, which I love this guy. I just love his name alone. Batch, are you buying or selling Puka? Selling. Selling? Oh, no. Yeah. Who are you selling first? Who are Puka? Uh, I can't remember the pronunciation of the last one, but him first and then Puka. <laughs> Atwell. So you would sell Atwell first. So you think Puka is the one to keep of the two Rams receivers? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Pez, what are you thinking? Is is Batch right? You keep, you keep Puka first, sell Atwell. He- and but he says you sell the, both. the issue. Are you buying or selling? The issue is for me is Puka look good. Like Tutu, Tutu's just quick. Tutu's quick. The thing with the Seahawks is what we do is like Van Jefferson and Higby hardly did anything that game. But we just don't adjust. The Niners aren't going to do that. Puka looked really solid in his route running, his hands, everything. He, he looked, he looked the more. You looked at him and thought, all right, there could be a path for him to have success. But one thing that people need to watch out for is but if Stafford makes it through the 49ers game without getting destroyed and injured, he might have a good chance. But I feel, again, I just don't think he is. I think he's he's one big hit away from picking up another serious injury and derailing the whole team and... If that doesn't happen, he might be get some production out of him. But I've got to be with Batch. I've got to say, like, I, I, I've got no interest in either of them. Well, again, I am going out on my own as my fantasy team. Again, proves it. 
I am buying Puka. I will buy Puka in every league. I will not pay 498 Bob out of 500 total for Puka, but I would spend a lot of money for Puka. He is the number one right receiver, and when Cooper comes back, Cooper Cup will be number two. <laughs> so I'll let's stop. go to the Big next guy. Stable. Who do we got them beers still, them beers still at your head, uh, Kelly, or what? <laughs> hey, this is what happens when you got three hours of sleep. Who do we got next, Johnny? Tua Tagovailoa. I hope I did not butcher the name too badly. Are we buying or selling? Hey, I want to get Johnny in on this. Johnny, you have an opinion on this one. Are you buying or selling Tua? Uh, I'd probably buy him, but I would have his backup just in case. Who is his backup, John? So, uh, Mike White, is it? Mike White, the Jets. And I bet the Jets wish they had Mike White right now. But, you know, Mike White, with those receivers, might actually do not bad. Yeah, <laughs> you know I mean, so in that system, he might be okay if they can keep him up. But two, like two of last year was awesome until they got concussion, and he should never have carried on that game. He should have been out right away. So bloody back my arse. But, yeah, I would buy Tua. But I would make sure I do I would make sure I have another back. I'm completely with Johnny. A fit Tua is an absolute monster. But unfortunately, his problem is he gets hurt too often. His concussions were quite worrying last season. He shouldn't, as Johnny said, he should never, ever have continued that game. But a fit Tua is a monster. Look what look what him and Tyreek did last week. Disgusting. Well, I think it was a brilliant display of Tua's talents. Oh, yeah. And yeah. It, by it, disgusting, that was a positive, by the way. Yeah, but yeah, hey. hey. I'm all down with the British lingo. <laughs> um, <laughs> gents, gents, I'm going to have to leave for five minutes, but I will be back, I promise. That's all right, mate. We, we got you covered. We got Pez. Pez, are you going with Johnny and uh, Arthur on this? I think they're both buying Dua. Are you buying in this uh, game? Or are you 100%. ready to, 100%. to sell him while no, he's no. high? No, no. As long as, like, like uh, Johnny and Batch said, as long as he doesn't take a concussion or anything like that, he's going to be a serious, serious weapon. Like, so would you say top five? Yeah. Top six? Top, top five. Ten? I think they're unstoppable. I, I genuinely, I genuinely think they're unstoppable because if you look at it, it's like they go up against one of the best defences, they try and double Tyreek, then... Jalen Waddle's just going to destroy everyone with his speed. And then you try and adjust, and then it just means Tyreek's going to get free and destroy you. And then when A-Chain gets up up and running and his speed, they're just no one's going to know what to do with them. Like, I, I, I think they could be absolutely monsters if he can stay healthy this year. I think the most exciting offense in the league right now, even though they don't have a running back to their name, worth running are the Miami Dolphins. I am 100% buying Tua. Anybody that got him after the seventh round, which he was available in almost every draft that I had this year, got a steal, a top five QB in the seventh round or later. Tua, 100%. I'm all in. I'm buying. Johnny, would you yep. trade Jalen Hurts for Tua. Yes. Wow. Pez, would. would you trade Jalen Hurts yeah. for Tua? Wow. Me too, because I hate the Eagles. Johnny, who do we have next? Oh, no, I would trade ah. for Hurts if I had Tua, not the other way. I'd rather ah, have Oh, you would trade for Hurts. I'd rather have Tua. Yes. Like, who... No, I'd, I'd rather have, have Tua. Even, even though, I, even though I do hate day. the Eagles being a Giants fan, I would help Hurts. I love Waddle. I love Tyreek. He's on his 2,000-yard 
the mission this year. He's going to get it. He's going to have 15 TDs, 2,000 yards. Tua is going to be first team all pro. That's my prediction. But, and again, I might be out of my own. And MVP. Let's it's going to be from the receivers because Johnny Jefferson's over, Jefferson's over 300. Yeah, but then remember Jefferson, he's had two games over 150 yards a game too, so it's going to be a... a Kirk good. Cousins, J.J. Jets yeah. versus Tyreek, I... the Blazing Hill, and Tua. Well, I'm not really very happy because I left Cousins on the bench to give Daniel Jones one more game. <laughs> and I'm, I'm playing against a team who had the top score. And Cousins scored, four, on 41, the Cousins scored 41 bloody <laughs> points. But, you never put Cousins on the bench, my man. Cousins no, you do, you, you do in, perform. You do in prime time. That loops. You do, you do in prime time. That's but, true. Yeah. That's true. I thought that uh, well, is true, but yeah. He he's had, lose even in though prime time, but he still even has though the he, numbers. Well, that's it. He scored more points than Jalen Hurts last week, but the last night. But yeah. No. Yeah. I do I do normally play Cousins, but I thought I'd give Jones one more try before he gets stopped. Anyway, we'll go on to the next one. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> Kirk Cousins, anyone that picked him, you know, in the round. I know, this, this was the... Love him. Aaron Rodgers, buying or selling? Well, I think we all know. I think that was pretty easy, that one, yeah. In a redraft <laughs> league, we're selling. I had a By dynasty of a selling. I would have sold him yeah. anyway. I don't like the guy. Yeah. Even after his injury, he got me a little bit riled up with his reply, the raw, raw attitude. I love that, Aaron, but I would sell a healthy Aaron. Pez, are you buying or selling a healthy Aaron? Um, a healthy Aaron? I, I, I probably would have bought him. Uh, obviously, we don't know what week one would have brought us, but I probably would have bought him just because he's got like Garrett Wilson and a few other pieces there. What probably would have propped him up for enough fantasy production. So I think he would have definitely been worth buying. I had him on my bench because I, I wanted to see what he did, but I think there was enough pieces there where he could have been relevant again for fantasy. But we'll never know. Yeah. Yeah. We can. Skip on to the next. There's no need to waste our time on this guy. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Jets fan. Jamar Gibbs, the guy picked in the first round, ready to replace DeAndre Swift that dominated with 30 plus points in every league, I believe, or 25 plus points. I got to say, I was a bit disappointed in his stats, but man, that guy was electric in his runs. In one TD, he had three people miss, and it was amazing. It reminded me of Barry Sanders in his prime. Pez, are people going crazy about Jamar Gibbs? Should we buy him or sell him? Um, from what you, from like watching him, you, you want to say buy him because if he can convert that into stats, like for fantasy, it's stats. So as a football player, look really exciting. But now we need to see whether he yeah. can convert that into stats. But for week two, from what we've seen, you've got to buy him because you've got to believe that he's going to turn what you see on the telly into fantasy, like into production and points for uh, fantasy. So, yeah, I'd, at this moment in time, you've got to buy him. I don't think there's anyone who could say sell him, really. So, Johnny, Pez has dibs on Gibbs. Are you staying afar from Jamar or are you buying? You're on fire. You're on fire tonight. Well, Kelly, them, you're on fire tonight. <laughs> like, there was... There was... There was, just, there was one catch he had before they scored a touchdown and he just totally had the defender going the wrong way but unfortunately he slipped and he got caught but that move that would have been an easy touchdown if he just stayed on his feet but yeah. he just slipped so yeah if he's, they've got to give him the ball more because he's such an electric player you know I, I, I gotta be honest with you I don't trust any Detroit Lions uh, running back since they forced 
Barry Sanders into retirement back in the 90s. Not a single one has finished the season healthy and with a 1,000 yards, except for somebody that no one can name. I am buying Jamar Gibbs regardless. I'm buying all day, every day, all day. Let's go to the next one. I think that's it. That is the last one. Okay, I got one more. But oh. Batch is not here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna change up my last one because Batch is not here. I hope he returns. Pez, I got one for you. Go on, man. Are you buying or selling Metcalf? Metcalf. Well, yeah, I just kind yeah. of yeah buying. <laughs> buying all the way. <laughs> Uh, I, oh, here I, I really don't know because uh, he might struggle these next couple of weeks because um, we've got our both tackles are out and if anyone saw that second half when them two went down we were horrendous but I think you've got to you've got to he always gets the production by the end of the season he's always there like he's always got a steady stream so and he's a Seahawks player so I'm going to be biased and say bye Welcome back, Arthur. Thank you. All right. Batch, are you... So we got Gibbs here. Yeah. Mr. Gibbs, are you buying or selling Gibbs? Buying. Buying, why? Why is that? I just... This guy had like nine fantasy points. We should put him on the waiver wire tomorrow. He's got the He's got the potential to do big, big things. Um, You know, yeah, okay... He had a bad game. But if we're judging on one game alone, my fantasy teams were horrendous last week. So, personally... I... Were they horrendous last week, Batch? Well, my personal fantasy teams, but for some reason, I don't know why, they just points weren't coming. And it was really frustrating. Well, let me ask you one question. How many Browns do you have on your team? <laughs> uh... A couple. Um, Nick Chubb is my main brown that I like. And um, that's the reason why your teams did not suck last week. You got one Browns, and that's Nick Chubb. And I've got the tight end. I've got got (laughs) Njoku. Although I do like Amari Cooper. I think the Cowboys. Uh, He's questionable now this week. He's out now. They sucked a lemon. Is he is he gone to out now? Is he? I'm, I'm sure I saw it pop up before saying he's not playing. Oh, um, I got a notification saying he went to questionable, and then one of the Browns things uh, that I saw not said that he pulled a groin at training. Breaking news! Nick no. Chubb, you already hear first. No, Amari no, Amari Cooper. Amari Cooper, that is. Amari Cooper is not playing. Well, okay. No, sorry. It's all right. It's against the squealers, so we don't need Amari. You need Amari. What do you got? Donovan People Jones? DPJ can catch. I can catch. I catch everything my son throws to me. Yeah, but he can run routes as well. I can run a fly route down the street. And as Johnny's just pointed out, Elijah Moore. Elijah Moore's going to go off. Elijah Moore, there you go. Hey, Pez, are you buying or selling Elijah Moore? Buying. Love Elijah Moore. That was my surprise buying or selling, by the way. I was going to ask Batch. Batch, as a Browns fan, are you buying or selling Elijah? Oh, hell yeah, I'm buying. How much are you buying? Would you trade a first-round draft pick for Elijah? Uh, yeah. I won't go that far. Hey, anybody in Batch's League, invite me. Because <laughs> I want to trade with Batch right now. <laughs> <laughs> I just, All right. Let's go to the Kelly, next segment, Johnny. Ke- We're taking too much Kelly, time here. Do you know your, your, yeah, your DK uh, by yourself, what you, you gave me before? Someone popped up in the corner and went, sell him, he's a big baby. Just thought I'd give them a little shout out. That's a... <laughs> There he is. Well, Joe Hudson, Sell Metcalf, big oh, baby. Oh, 